I might have to embellish this just a tiny bit for the thumbnail. I wanna be the vi oh look, there's actually a Magikarp here. Nice. You know, the thing that always kind of trips me out about island nations like this is that at some point in history, someone looked at the ocean and said, I can't see anything out there, but let's just get on a boat and go look around. That's crazy to me. All right, I figured it out. I'm just gonna hit the bathroom because we got a two hour drive ahead. All right, you ready? Good morning from a little bit misty, a little bit rainy, Tongariro National Park here in New Zealand. I actually wasn't expecting this weather, but to be fair, I didn't look up the weather at all. It's honestly beautiful though. This is my ideal setting for being up in the mountains. Maybe not so much water, because it's bad for my phone and my camera, but I love misty mountains like this and there's actually Pokemon up here so this will be the first catch of the day my Wi-Fi hotspot has no service up here um, so I have pretty slow like 2G speeds on my international data still usable obviously I'm not gonna be able to battle any gyms or anything but I can catch Pokemon and there's the three-day streak can't reach the focus stop from here, but there's a few around. I put a Tauros in the gym last night. So, oh, my phone's all wet already. The plan for the rest of the day is to pick one of the walking tracks or hiking trails here in the park and try to see as much as I can before heading back towards Auckland. It's, I think, maybe a four and a half hour drive and my flight leaves tomorrow morning, so I want to get as close to Auckland as I can tonight. All right, let's go have a look around. I changed my mind. I want to get closer to the mountain, so I'm gonna to drive to a different trailhead, and start somewhere else. All right, I made it. Luckily, it's not really raining up here. Um, there's going to be no Pokemon Go. No internet. I checked the hotspot also. No service on that either. But that's fine because it's beautiful out here and that's way more important. No, I'm definitely not going the whole way. You got to get a shuttle back from the other side. But this, oh my god, it's beautiful. This mountain, uh, two mountains up here, I have no idea how to pronounce the names, but they were both used. They were the mountains used for Mount Doom in the Lord of the Rings movies. They weren't actually allowed to film up here, so most of the scenes where you see them, it's CGI models or composites. But here we are. Middle Earth. I'm starting to get up into the cloud now. It's getting a lot mistier. I can see all your data. I really hope visibility is going to be decent once I get up to a higher vantage point. Because <laughs> otherwise this whole video is going to look like this.
just got a Twitter notification. I actually have phone service up here. Let's see if it'll actually load the game, though. The map's sort of doing something. It at least knows where I am. Maybe I shouldn't move out of that spot. The notification was a Pokemon Go tweet. Show us your catch of the day. Probably not gonna have one up here, to be completely honest. All right, I'm gonna wait here for another like 30 seconds to a minute just to see if maybe any Pokestops load up. Probably not. Oh, there we go. Unable to connect, that's the end of that. Good try though. I just hit another spot of service. Got a notification. Let's see if I can get anything else. It's possible that this walking track is marked in OpenStreetMap, in which case we might see Pokemon spawns along it. But the service is really slow, so don't hold your breath. Let's see. Just keep moving. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. There are tons of Pokemon up here. That's slow, bro. They must all be along the track. Definitely. Slowbro could be ahead or behind. We'll see. This is honestly exactly what I wanted from Pokemon Go from the beginning. To be able to come out to a beautiful place like this and actually find Pokemon. It feels so much more like a real Pokemon adventure than, you know, bopping around the city, going to the same place, the Pike in Long Beach every day, sitting down at a luring spot. This feels like a proper, sorry, phone's wet. This feels like a proper Pokemon adventure. Wow. Mantine too, it's all water types up here. I mean, there's a stream right next to me. I was hoping for some fire types up here on the volcano, to be honest. Lost them. Do I turn around? I'm just gonna keep going. Mantine should be coming up as we move this way. I'm so glad there's actually Pokemon up here. Great move by Niantic, adding spawns to footpaths in OpenStreetMap. There's a Remoraid. I love this. Oh man, to make it even better, check this out. Attack, defense, best I've ever seen. That's two 14s, two 15s, excuse me. This Chin Chow has almost perfect IVs, and uh, I wish I could make more Lord of the Rings references than this, but his name is now Mr. Frodo. Mr. Frodo. Mr. Frodo. Mr. Frodo. Mr. Frodo. Mr. Frodo. Nice.
that was probably a stupid idea. And of course, it started raining way harder as soon as I sent it up, but I had to get a look. If I can't go any farther, I can at least send my eye in the sky. Everything is just soaked. The main reason that I brought this like scarf thing up here is so I could wipe everything down because I knew it was going to get wet. And then also to sort of cover the camera while I'm walking so that it's not always out in the rain. But, oh my god, look at this. Soaked. Terrible idea. Don't ever do that. It was very difficult to see. I'm soaked. I'm soaked. I mean... All the way through, I'm just soaked. So here we go. Heading back down. Let's go. No. No, I'm not. I'm here, Soda Springs. Look at that. Maybe next time. Maybe next time, New Zealand, when I'm a little more prepared. Still, who else is going to climb a volcano in the rain to provide some quality Pokemon Go content for you? I have some eggs hatching. I knew I'd have decent enough service. No, I didn't. Whooper. Yay. And Sneasel. I'll take that. Still no fire types up here, but honestly, with this cold and wet weather, I guess uh, the ice and water is appropriate. Nice. Ice type moves, good IVs, and a Psyduck. Made it back, changed into some, <laughs> some dry clothes. This is what I did. Changed into some dry clothes, throwing it together. Cassie would be ashamed, but I, I bought all this fresh food. Gotta eat it before it goes bad. Oh well, here's lunch. Should've got bigger pitas.